What's up, guys? Group Bat 2 here today with another fantastic commentary. No, I'm just fucking with you guys. How you guys doing? Brett here today with another commentary. Um, just a random, random gameplay. Not sure what I'm gonna throw over top of this one. I think I'm gonna put the uh, what is it, 115 to 8 up, but uh, I'll have to see because I'm just gonna do this commentary and see what fits over top of it. So, anyways, guys, the last week. Um, I've been traveling. I actually did a commentary about a week ago with James before I left, but unfortunately we could not pop that one up. But I will pop that one up soon. I'm not sure which order they're going to be in, to be honest. This might go up before the other one, but uh, we'll see how it goes. But anyways, guys, in that commentary with James, I did a dual com with him in real life, uh, in the flesh, and... Um it's, it's pretty awesome being back guys so I talked about my prom in that video and uh, after prom a little bit and now we're finally done after prom and uh, basically I went up to Wasega in Ontario if you guys know where that is and uh, we took about 20 of our friends with us and we rented these two little houses and uh, had a great time partied it up and then after that uh, I spent the next like three or four days at my cottage which was also pretty sick because my cottage is great and then my cousin was there and uh, it was just a bun bunch of fun stuff you know um, so after prom, basically, uh, what we did, uh, was, uh, pretty jokes. We got there on the mm, Tuesday, th Wednesday morning, I think. And then, uh, basically, since we're kids, we're teenagers, we finished high school. I, I, we're a bit, I might be a bit older than some of you out there. Not all of you, of course, but some of you. And we like to, uh, party and party it up as in we like to consume the alcoholic beverages sometimes. So we did a little bit of a beer pong tournament, which is basically you take six cups and you line them up on the opposite ends of tables. So there's 12 in total. And you try to take your ping pong ball and throw it in the cup. And if you get it in their cup, then they have to drink it. Pretty simple, but pretty effective and fun. So we did a giant tournament of that, and I think we had something like uh, 60 games. And um, I think I taped about eight important ones, and uh, it was a great camera angle, and I just sat it up there. So I might just fast forward through it and, and put some really funny highlights in there and freak outs. Because it's, it's funny. It's not just so much the sport that you're watching, but it's just everything in all together. And it's just, just funny to watch, to be honest. And I also recorded quite a bit of my trip on that one. So I, I hope to sometime get the time to edit it. I'm not quite sure when I'll get to it, but uh, you know me in editing. I have so many trips to do, so much stuff. And I, will, I just have to sit down one day and just sit down for like two hours and get like two videos done. But I am just, I, I don't like editing that much. So if anyone, actually, yeah, you guys, if you like editing possibly real life videos, give me a holler because, you know, I could send you all the clips and uh, see what you can do with them and then I have like probably 10 videos that you guys could do for me and you could get some exposure if you're if you're you know you're willing to do it or want to do it um, yeah, but uh, that's just you know just leave just leave a comment and I'll, I'll get back to you anyways um, so what I did in my cottage was um, you know the regular stuff I was I, I fish um, I didn't really do any hunting but um, you know swimming and all that but I didn't quite get to the uh, 360 crossbow. I know. I know everyone is waiting for it. I'm gonna do it. I'm getting it tomorrow. I'm home now. I'm with James. We have our little HD mini camera, so we're gonna do our GoPro. If you know what that is, we're gonna go kill it outside in my backyard. I don't know exactly the positioning of my 360 crossbow as it is, but this is a real crossbow, guys. This can kill people. This could kill animals. I've killed. St I haven't personally. Maybe my dad has, uh, like deer and everything with it. So this is a dangerous weapon. And I'm going to be doing my best not to kill myself and, as well, entertain you guys. So, uh, I'm not sure if it's waterproof because I'd, I'd do something really, really epic like jump off uh, my balcony. Um, maybe it's about a 15-foot drop into my pool. And if it's a waterproof event, 360 off the balcony, into the pool, and as I'm falling, shoot, like, the target on my um, treehouse. That would be so epic. Like, I'm just envisioning it right now, and it's just... It's getting me nervous just thinking about that. Holy shit. But uh, guys, don't worry. We're going to make this video epic. It's it's going to be it's gonna be stellar, and you guys are going to love it. And that's what I want to do for you guys. And yeah, I haven't been posting, guys, because I, I don't have internet at my cottage. And the other place I was at, and, like, the internet was so weak, I could barely check my email. So I didn't have time to upload videos. And especially with, um, when I'm with uh, all these people enjoying my time and everything, I don't have time to do a commentary. I can't really. Like, guys, everyone, shut up, shut up. I'm doing a commentary. No, I, I don't have time, guys. I'm sorry. I apologize. But, 
but you know I really want to get back into this and you know I, I, every time I say that I, it feels like I go away for another trip or something but I'm just a busy guy and um, the thing about me is like I do play Call of Duty quite often but I also have these trips and everything that you guys can be involved in as well you know they can, you can watch them comment and uh, see where I'm going next and everything and that's pretty interesting too I find um, it's something different that most commentators don't really have because if I was just a regular commentator I just stay home every day and just post a commentary maybe once every two days every day whatever it might be but you know I have I have pretty an exciting life so I like to you know share what I do in real life with you guys and uh, I hope you do enjoy it because it, it is helping me become a YouTube partner I already have three videos up for revenue sharing um, that are real life so like my Canadian setup video my Monte Carlo trailer the Italy video those are all revenue shared videos but I'm not quite a partner yet but those are definitely helping me like gain money and whatever I just have to log into my AdSense account now because I <laughs> definitely forgot the password for it, which kind of sucks. Uh, but that's, you know, that's me. I don't even know what account it is under, but I'll have to figure that out. And, um, you know, that's the end of that. Um, so what else do I have to talk about? I might be, uh, yeah, I am doing a dual com with, um, what is it, Jay or maybe Rico. He's in my box. I'm going to do a commentary with him sometime. And hopefully, hopefully, um, one with Fearcrats because... You know, he's a really cool guy, and, like, I know he's going to give me some exposure if I do the, do the dual com with him. He kind of said when he has time and kind of like that. And, um, you know, he's, he's a cool guy. And if I do get some exposure from him, that'd be great as well. If I don't do a dual com, it's not the end of the world. I still have everyone here, but he's he's a really tight, good friend of mine, and I kind of see no reason why he wouldn't do a dual com with me besides his time and him being busy and everything. But we have, like, two months off, so... We'll see how that goes, and you you guys should know Fear Crowds by now. He's he's probably the fastest growing commentator um, out there. Period. He went from 50 or no five 500 subs to about 30k in about three months. And uh, here's just a quick stat: in like two days, he gained about 10k subs just from doing his YouTube activities with um, like extras, uh, Woody's Gamer Tag, and all this YouTube com commentator thing, which I wanted to be in, but. I wasn't around when they were doing the tournament, but maybe next one. Maybe next one I can be in, but uh, I'm going to have to ask you guys to help me out with that one and, like, vote me in or something, you know, because uh, I think he just – he didn't pick favorites, but he tried to pick whoever was the best, and, like, you know, if you guys think I'm a good player, maybe vote me in. Well, well I'll say that for another time because right now, obviously, you don't have to do any voting or anything, but when it comes around, when it comes around to that, if you guys do think I'm a good enough player, you know, send me up for that because – I want to prove myself to the community that I am one of the best um, COD players around, period. And uh, even if I don't play a lot, guys, like, I'm still, I keep there, I keep it up, you know, not like the dick, but that's, that's awkward. Awkward! <laughs> uh, no, but, uh, what else do I have to talk about? My university, man, I'm going to Western next year. I was going to go to University of Toronto, but I'm clearly not now. Um, I'm still trying to figure out, um, what is it, residence and, like, where I'm staying and all my courses and everything. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, that's pretty much it for me today. Uh, if you have any comments or anything, just drop one for me. I'll, I'll definitely respond to you guys. I love hearing your comments and I love giving you feedback and, like, telling you what's up. So, um, please drop a comment on anything and I'll get back to you. Peace, guys.